phenomenon is called digital kidnapping, and yes, it is as scary as it sounds. As parents, we love to take photos of our kids and post them. It's a great way to keep our family and friends in the loop. But now experts are issuing this new alert that bad guys are using our posts against us to track our children. This morning, you're about to see how they do it, plus the simple setting on your phone that you can change right now to protect your family. Your baby's hatching. From Facebook to Instagram, parents sharing their children's lives online. But now the new world's crime, digital kidnapping. Predators stealing your kids' photos and spreading them online. This stranger posting on Facebook claiming this girl was his daughter. In another recent case, a child's photo was tagged on a porn site. Turns out most of us are putting our own families at risk, and we have no idea. Happy Thursday. You post all the time. Yeah, I like to post about the kids. That's Michelle and Reese. They think we're doing a general story about social media. What they don't know? Back in Ohio, cyber safety expert Jesse Weinberger is poring over their social media pages, checking for private information. So what do you find here? Through mom's Facebook account and everything that she's posted, I was able to find out husband's name, children's names. She has two children. I know their ages. I know their dates of birth. I know where they go to school. I have the address of the school. I have the name of the teacher. I know exactly which playgrounds they visit, how often they like to go to each playground. You were showing me a map where you're actually able to find out the path they take to school, how they walk and when. Right. It wasn't hard. But even scarier, she says our photos can have a hidden location signature embedded in them. Even if you don't tag the location, anyone can still find out where you are. What's the danger here? For example, I know that one of her children broke his leg. How easy would it for me to be to come up to the kid and say, oh, you don't remember me, but I was the nurse when you came to the emergency room. How's your leg feeling? Come with me. Come with me. Time for the moment of truth. Come have a seat right over here. I tell Michelle and Reese what we uncovered. We actually had a cybersecurity expert pour through your social media pages. Okay. And she put together a dossier on your children, okay. on wow. your family. Found out some pretty creepy stuff. <laughs> I know your two sons are Oxford and Ozark. I know where they go to school. I know your route to school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's scary. <laughs> I also know that your son likes to play chess. Yes. Ozark does. He's participated in youth wrestling. Yes. I don't want to say their last names, but I know your kids' babysitters' names. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's Grammy B? That's my mom. Your mom. Yeah. Think about the information, even the, just that I've said so far. If this were a bad person, an online predator, I know where your kids go to school, mm -hmm. I can walk up and say, hey, Grammy B sent me. And suddenly, mm -hmm. they can get away with your child. You don't want to set your child up for something dangerous. And um, we don't even realize it. And I, I'm a parent too, and I yeah. do the same thing. I think we all do. Yeah, I mean, it's, real, it's, it's very scary. So how do you protect your family? On Instagram, make your profile private like that. And on Facebook, Click on settings, then privacy, and change right here from public to friends only. And go a step further. On Facebook, categorize your friends in terms of safety. Make separate groups for those you trust the most. And when you post, only share your kids' photos with them. And remember that hidden location feature in some photos? Go to your phone's privacy settings, the camera section, and make sure the location function is off. Also, never put your kids in your profile or cover photo. Those are always public. It's definitely a really good reminder for all of us. I know there are people out in this world, and they're using that information to do bad things. By the way, as we sit here, you're going through your Facebook yeah, settings, yeah. then your phone settings. Know. It's true. We're gonna, I'm going to show you as soon as we're yeah, off the air. I'm going to show you again. But here's <laughs> another tip for you. You know you change your clocks every time it's daylight saving time. Experts say use that as a reminder to go through your friends on social media and clean house. Delete anyone who you're not friends with anymore. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, sometimes we just collect friends sure. on social media. Yeah, yeah. Go through it a couple of times a year to make sure that you still don't have some stragglers there who you don't know. All right. That privacy setting is important and easy to, to Very, fix, right? Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll go, let me have your phone. I'll, morning, I'll do this Thank after you. your next story. All sure. right. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.